and flour. <clears throat> Some flour.
this is quite tedious huh? I didn't expect so <clears throat> I'm sorry this video if you suffer to <laughs> to this stage you you are pretty patient anyway <clears throat> what I'm trying to do is to do a paper mache project and uh, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> All these things, all these projects, the idea comes pretty easy and simple, but practice each time when I do practice, I find some new way. And I will never imagine that I end up doing like this. I will think just using paper one layer after layer, right? I will not think that I will put. <coughs> uh, a dry paper on it and use the dry paper to absorb the the excess <coughs> the excess um, <coughs> the the extra uh, moisture and this turned out to be very very good actually and it is very smooth this one is too big we can cut it smaller here it off and just <coughs> it needs patience it needs uh, do it slowly not in a rush and uh, the more to the end the more <coughs> we need to put some uh, smaller piece so this way it is totally Smooth. I think this is good. Mm. <clears throat> I do not want to put too many layers. I will take this one out for the outside. Okay. Before that, I will use this one to dry it up use my hand to touch it. Now it becomes so much more smoother. That's good. This is a good, a better quality paper mache. Now we do the outside. This is not so easy to do with a student I know because uh, we will get frustrated. It takes too much time and it requires too much. But the purpose of doing it is to let student be patient right artwork is not about creativity is not about being <coughs> uh, quick it's about doing a fine piece of work patiently the more I take class, the more I do things, the more I realize this. And this summer is such a special summer. I have learned so much. Do you think student can do this patiently like this for one hour? I am not sure. I need to test in class. Okay, the table surface will be pretty 
pretty. Actually, I just need a relatively thinner layer, not so much. What happened here? Sorry. This is not close to the door very well. Okay, this way. Mm -hmm. Let's use some smaller one. <coughs> Do not use too big ones. Yeah, good. Good. Okay, we start with uh, with a little bit large one. We never use huge one, right? And it just needs patience and uh, and uh, slow work. Okay, move here. But at the end of one class, the hand will be quite something. This one always have this. Okay. Just have to go with it. Do not do not fight too much. Okay, here I cover here. Need to cover one. Use a smaller one. Two. This way I feel I'm doing something art. Art is about patience, about hard work, about good workmanship. See this paper now becomes so listening, so <coughs> good. Oh my good paper, they become so good. They are no longer naughty. They are no longer disobeying. They are obeying me obeying my view <coughs> my intention it becomes so soft okay the technique is shamelessly talking about technique is to make the paper soft so that it goes to Oh, 
buttons. Okay, how many minutes did I take? 22. Oh, I am sorry, it's been too long. Anyway, <clears throat> one bowl takes something like 10, 20 minutes or even longer. That is a doable project in class. What do you think? Okay, this is the instant noodle bowl. I will not use it. Uh, uh, <coughs> it is one time to throw away. I do not throw away. I do not recycle. I reuse. Put it into a new life. How about? Too big. Okay, here is good. Anyway, I will make all the plastic covered. When the plastic covered, I can paint it, right? So when it is getting dry, I will paint it, paint it.